Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be the part two to plotting in MATLAB. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and watch my part one video. Um, link in the description below. So in this video, we're going to give more meaning to our plot. So I'm using the same example as part one. If I run this, I'm going to get a um, parabola. And then I'm going to start by giving this graph a title. So to do that, I'm going to go into my script and then I'm going to type in title open parentheses, single quotation, and then you can say, this is a graph of a parabola. And then this should give your graph a nice title. So let's run this again. There we go. So there is our title right here. And then now let's, um, let's uh, specify our um, X and Y axis here. So to do that, um, we're gonna go into our command window and then we're gonna type in X label, open parentheses, single quotation. And then you could type in anything here and it's gonna display that on your X axis. Um, so I'm just gonna type in X axis, close quotation, close parentheses. And then same thing for my, um, actually this should be X label, not a dash. So X label. And then Y label, that's gonna specify my Y axis. So I'm gonna type in Y axis or whatever else you like. Um, and then let's run this again. Take a look at our plot here. There we go. And then this pretty much specified our Y axis, our X axis. Um, let's see, um, you could also turn on and off your grid feature in MATLAB. So if you wanna focus on like a specific point in your graph, you could do that. So you're literally going to go into your um, uh, script and then type in grid on and then let's run this again and this should turn on the grid feature in your graph. So now you could kind of see your points uh, with more precision. Um, other than that, um, and I mean, it kind of depends on your graph. So it pretty much um, the grid makes everything more specific to the point um, depending on your application. So. I kind of want to stop here um, for part two, and then in the next video, I'll discuss the line properties um, and further modify our graph. So if this video helped, just drop me a like. It'll really help out this channel, and then um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.